Well, here's a very important endgame lesson. We have an extra pawn, but it's blockaded by his knight. Meanwhile, our own knight is super attacked, so we have to move it or lose it. Well, we're going to fork the king and the knight, not so that we can take the knight with our bishop, but so that we can fork the knight and his bishop with our king. If he saves his knight, we win his bishop. If he saves his bishop, we win his knight. He saved the knight, we win the bishop. We've got to get our king to g2, which means we need to force his king away from the defense of g2, which means we have to prevent king f2, which means we have to play bishop b6. Now he brings his knight back out. How do we keep his knight from just going back and forth? We play bishop d8, bishop h4. His knight is cut off. His king is prevented from going to f2. He is in Sugsvang, and we will win.